this is one of the most important and also fun things about having a garden and I call them my night walks. So if you have a garden, you should always go out, check it out at night. Sometimes that's the best way to catch the bugs and the pests that are eating your garden that you might not see in the daytime. So um, I do this almost every night just because I really like to, but um, I wanted to show you guys how I do it and let's see what we can see. So I think it's gotten to be a little too cold for my moon flowers, but I'll put some pictures of them on the screen so you can see. Um, it doesn't look like any are open right here. No, no moon flowers open there. We'll kind of hop around this way. Yeah, none there. So. This bed and this bed are pretty well settled, but my beds toward the end have a lot of bugs. So let's see if there's any moon flowers here. Uh, that one's just getting to open. So I'll, um, it'll probably, you know, get more open as it gets later tonight, but I won't be able to see it. Let's see, oh, these are still open at night. That's interesting. So, um, they're uh, the Climbing Black Eyed Susan Cosmic Candy Mix. So I thought these would close up at night, but I guess they don't. So I'm trying to grow them on this arch here. We'll see how that goes. And then here is my other moonflower plant. Doesn't look like any are open right now. No, it's getting a little too cold for them. But I've taken lots of pictures of them this year. So, yep. Alright. So, what I'm looking for are the pill bugs. And typically I'd actually see them crawling around at night. I'm not seeing them just yet. Oh, there goes one. Okay. So, there's one. So these are what's eating all my seedlings. Lost my focus there. All right. Um, okay, there's another one. So sometimes I see way more, but I'm worried about this cabbage plant here. But it doesn't look like they're eating that, so that's good. And then this kale I covered up because the grasshoppers have been eating it. We have grasshoppers. This year, you can see they're eating it. So this is like the dinosaur kale. Um, the grasshoppers have been eating it, but this basket does a pretty good job of keeping them away from it. So that's nice. These are my zinnias. They're uh, really beautiful. Even got these different sunflowers growing here in December. So, all right. So this is just this one bed. I had a lot of cilantro planted under here, but they kept eating it, so. All right, I'm gonna head down to this bed. Down here is where they're really doing the most damage. So, there's a, oops, my headlamp's not cooperating. Oh. Okay, anyway, this uh, is a kale plant that grasshoppers basically destroyed. Um, same thing over here. And I feel like I can already see a little pill bugs They're eating everything. But that's why I have to come out here at night because 
Otherwise, I wouldn't catch them in the act and know. So there's another kale plant that the grasshoppers had eaten, but it looks like it's coming back a little bit. I don't know if they're not getting enough sun this far down, um, but once it starts to warm up in the spring, I'm sure it'll be fine. And if I have to wait that long, then that's fine. So over there is also where they do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna head over there. And it is a little scary out at night, but um, I don't care. Okay, so I had planted a lot of clover. I don't know if you can see all the clover that I planted. So they were doing a pretty good job of destroying that. Here's another cabbage. Um, I didn't want, okay, so there's one. And I think, no, none here. But they are coming back. So, this amount is probably fine, you know, cause they do a good job of decomposing things, despite the fact that we don't get much rain. But I do like to kind of come out and just look at nighttime and see what's going on. So my uh, winter squashes and pumpkins really struggled this year because the white flies, but I think the cold has begun to kill them off, I think. So they might be coming back Maybe. And then actually it's kind of cool. We don't have fireflies, but there generally are a lot of lace wings hiding in here at night. Um, unless it got too cold for them, I'm not seeing them anywhere. Well, what a bummer. No moonflowers, no lace wings. That's fine. I like to kind of check out real close, look for insects, because there are so many that only come out at night, so you don't really get to see them in the daytime. There's not even moths, which is crazy. There's a lace wing. I don't know if you, you guys probably can't see it, um, but yeah, normally there'd be a lot of moths attracted to my headlamp. But I guess it's even gotten too cold for them too. Um, I was seeing praying mantises also, little baby ones, and I found a larger one too, but I don't see any out here right now, so, oh well. So I'm going to turn off my headlamp, and then we can see these lights. I hope they look pretty, t like... They look pretty to me anyway. I kind of got obsessed with solar lights and I'm still pretty obsessed with them because we get so much sun here that the solar lights work out really well. So I like how they just kind of give us like magical feeling to the garden. Although it does look like some of them have stopped working and when I ordered them on Amazon, a lot of people said that they don't really last very long, which super sucks. I took my chances and they worked for a while, but it looks like they don't work that great right now. Um, I do wanna check out this bed while I'm out here. Like I said, it's just super important to come out and look at everything at night because you'll catch a lot of insects that you don't see during the daytime. And I've really struggled to grow things from seed on the last six to eight months because the bugs are eating like everything it seems like. I had so many things growing, but then the bugs ate it. So, it's so nice out here at night. It's really cool. There's no breeze. All right. Well, 
It looks nice. Looks like everything's doing just okay. Wish that moonflower was a little bit more open. But... And there's the lace wing. probably be open tomorrow morning if I come out. Yeah, I must just be getting too cold for them. They're so pretty though. And they smell really good, like unexpectedly. Sometimes the most beautiful flowers don't actually smell that great, but these actually smell good. So it looks like we'll have some more opening this week, but not quite as many. These uh, flower spikes are where they open from. Sorry if this is blurry, but it's nighttime. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and the, you can usually pretty well see the moon and the stars out here at night. I know uh, this camera isn't the best for capturing it, but. It is really, 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 really beautiful out at night. Got my little solar lights twinkling, not too warm, not too cold. It's really peaceful. Well, I'll go ahead and zoom out and say thanks for joining me.